So this is lesson 82 for a white group. You're gonna figure out an analogy. You're gonna figure out what an analogy is about. You're gonna figure out what an analogy is about. So first, we were making up analogies about certain things. Now, Ms. Thomas is gonna say an analogy and you're gonna figure out what it's about. Listen, a boat is to water as an airplane is to, listen again, a boat is to water as an airplane is to, get ready, air. Listen again, a boat is to water as an airplane is to air. What class, it, um, what class are a boat and an airplane in? What class are a boat and an airplane in? Get ready, vehicles, yes. So our analogy tells something about vehicles. A boat is to water and an airplane is to air. Remember, our analogy tells something about vehicles. Does it tell you where you find the vehicles? Get ready. Yes. Where do you find a boat? In the water. Where do you find an airplane? In the air. Listen, does this analogy tell you what parts they have? Get ready. No. Does our analogy tell what color they are? You ready? No. Does analogy, our analogy tells where you find them. Listen, our analogy tells where you find them. Where do you find a boat? Yes, so say the first part of our analogy. You ready? A boat is to water. Say the first part of our analogy. You ready? A boat is to water. Listen, where do you find an airplane? Where do you find an airplane? In the air. So say the next part of our analogy. Say the next part of our analogy. Get ready. Yes, an airplane is to air. Tell me what the analogy tells about the vehicles. What does our analogy, analogy tell you about these vehicles? Get ready. Where you find them. Yes, it tells you where you find them. Now let's say the analogy one more time. Get ready. A boat is to water as an airplane is to air. So I'm gonna tell you about an object, but I'm gonna call it a funny name. See if you can see, figure out what object I'm thinking about. Mirrors on. Listen, a fribble is a person. Listen again, a fribble is a person. Say that, get ready. Listen, a fribble works in a school. Listen, a fribble works in a school. Say that, get ready. A fribble works in a school. Here's the third thing, remember still on. A fribble works in a library. Listen again. A fribble works in a library. Let's get ready to say all three things we know about a fribble. Mirrors on. Get ready. One more time. Get ready. A fribble is a person. A fribble works in a school. A fribble works in a library. Hmm. Think about all the things we know about a fribble. Let's see if we can figure out what a fribble is. What kind of person am I calling a fribble? Get ready. Yes, a librarian. I couldn't fool you. It's really a librarian. So we're going to talk about analogies one more time. You're going to figure out what analogy, what the analogy is about. Just like last time, we're going to figure out what the analogy is about. Listen, a frog is too riveting as a cat is too. 
Meowing. What class are a frog and a cat in? Get ready. Animals. Yes, they are animals. Our analogy tells something about the animals. Our analogy tells something about the animals. A frog is too riveting as a cat is too meowing. Does that analogy tell what parts our objects have, our animals have? No. Does that analogy tell you where you find them? No. Does our analogy tell you what the animals say? Yes. Does our analogy tell you how they move? You ready? No. Our analogy tells, listen, our analogy tells what the animals say. Say the first part of the analogy. You ready? A frog is too riveting. Now say the next part of the analogy. You ready? A cat is too meowing. So tell me what the analogy tells about the animals. Tell me what our analogy tells about the animals. You ready? Yes, it tells you what they say. Now say the whole analogy. Get ready. A frog is too riveting as a cat is too meowing. Good job. That concludes our lesson for today.